watching Divine Superconductor TV. Today I'm reviewing this better bottle. It is made of PET and it is what technically be called a plastic but it's kind of not. It doesn't have plasticizers and it doesn't have bisphenol A which has been without a doubt linked to cancer. I'm coming at this before the glass police come at me. I'm coming at this from a perspective of using carboys for the last four years. I used to buy glass carboys on Craigslist for 30 bucks, get three or four of them, hold them to a well or a spring, fill them up. I even have those little handles that, that hook onto the neck here. But I broke three out of the probably six carboys that I had. First one, I was pouring it, it slipped out of my hand on the kitchen floor, smash, glass shards everywhere. I nearly slipped. It would have been a bloodbath. They're super dangerous. Second one I broke, I was putting it in my trunk and clang, just gently, just like, just like that, and it broke. Water, poof, all in my trunk. Although glass is, is ideally the best way to go, transporting five gallon glass carboys. I don't know if you've held one. Super heavy by itself. When it's full of water, it's a huge workout. And if you drop that thing, it's a disaster. This one, it's very flexible. And this is actually used for fermenting wine and beer. So it's polyethylene terephthalate. So even though it has phthalate in the name, it doesn't mean there's phthalates in it. I can go into the chemistry of it, I can go into all the different things, but, but really it's best to just look at the studies yourself if you're skeptical. Of course, glass is always the best to use if you can, but it's how practical is it, you know? I used to be extreme, I used to not care about practicality at all, just 100%. So these are my two drinking bottles that I use. This one even has a sacred geometry all over it. These are Myron violet glass bottles. These only let violet light and far infrared in it. It preserve the contents. Some people even feel that these structure the water, just setting it in the sun. I found out about these from a guy on Facebook, one of my friends named Ra Utah, when I was talking about gathering spring and well water, he sent me this link for the Better Bottle. And if you're interested in checking them out, the website is better-bottle.com. These don't let oxygen or carbon dioxide in. So if you go to that website, they'll cite all the studies. They have in-depth pages on everything. Until we have plastic made out of hemp or cannabis, this is the best we're gonna do. Of course, I would still not leave this bottle in the sun. Of course, I would still not expose it to hot temperatures. But if it's sitting at room temperature in the dark, I don't see any problem with storing liquid in here. And from my experience, I'm very sensitive to the taste of plastic. When I worked at a detention facility that didn't allow in glass, I would bring in a Nalgene bisphenol A BPA-free bottle. Even though it said BPA-free on it, I would still taste the plastic every day. The scary thing is, over time, if you use one of those bottles, you'll find that you taste the plastic less and less as time goes on. That's not because you're getting used to it. It's because the plastic is going in your body. It's getting stuck in the tissue and the glands, it's screwing with your hormones, your endocrine system. Of course, the more plastic we can get out of our lives, the better. But I just use this as emergency storage, transporting. If I go on trips, if I am able, I'll bring glass gallon jug, just as, as much glass as I can safely transport. You're not going to stick with something if it's not practical and if it's too much effort. So this, I can drop on the ground and I'm not going to have glass shards in my skin. That's that. PET, it's a unique plastic that doesn't have plasticizers or bisphenol A. It pretty much doesn't leak. I don't taste the plastic when I drink from this thing. But again, 90% of what I drink from 
on a regular basis is glass. That's what I prefer. But if I'm traveling, if I need to be practical, then I go with this, and it's the safest thing you could use. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, comment below, any questions or comments, and more to come. Have a great day.